Hi everybody. Today is the first day, very first day, of our adventure. So we have lived out near Seattle, about 30 miles outside of Seattle for the last 27 years. And um, my husband retired and I am done working where I was working. Um, still too young to go on social security, still need insurance. Um, but we're old enough to say, you know what? We're in the end of our lives. Not the very end, but you know, closer to the end than we are at the beginning. And uh, we want what we want. We want to live where we want to live. We want to do what we want to do. And so we went back to Michigan, where we're originally from. Went for a drive to go look at a piece of property that had just been listed. And it's a horse property back in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And they weren't letting anybody see it unless you were pre-approved or had cash in hand. And we decided that we were just going to drive by just to see what it was like. So we drove by and I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then we went to a park, a city uh, state park, um, Brimley State Park. And we decided that we would just go have lunch because we had my parents with us. And, you know, with COVID and everything going on, we certainly didn't want to be out in a restaurant and they weren't open. So we thought we'd have a little picnic for the July weekend. And uh, we sat down, had a beautiful lunch. It was clean. There wasn't any garbage on there. There weren't any needles with heroin and blood in them. There were no cars rip roaring through the park with people screaming, no loud music. This is a, this is a park where people camp. I mean, there were people campers there, camping there for the weekend. Um, peaceful, quiet. We had lunch, we went and we walked down to the water and dipped our toes in Lake Superior and just kind of walked up and down the beach a little bit and went and sat back down and I looked at my husband and I said, when was the last time we were able to go to a state park in Washington and enjoy ourselves? Where we didn't have people screaming or smoking pot or big parties with alcohol when there's not supposed to be alcohol in the state park. Um, when was the last time we did that? And he looked at me and he said, never. Not once have we been able to go and really enjoy our time at a state park. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? We need to go home. We need to go home, list our house, and get out. And so we did. We left at 7 a.m. the next morning, came home, called my friend who's a realtor, told her we were done. We wanted out. We wanted to go back to Michigan. We wanted to go someplace where not, I don't want to say I don't like other people, but I want to be able to do what I want to do. I don't want to be told by somebody else that I need to do something because they feel that that's what everybody should do. I'm very libertarian, I guess you would call it, because really I don't want the government in my business. I understand there's reasons for certain rules and laws, but you know what? I should be able to do what I want to do on my property. I should be able to believe in what I believe, say in what I think. You know, I should have the freedom to do what I want to do. That's the whole thing about being American is to be able to do what you want to do. Um, and not be worried that the mob is going to come to your house or, or come after you or get nasty grams on stuff. All, all I want to do is ride my horse and garden. I mean, I'm not asking for a lot out of life. So we did. Called my friend. She listed the house. We had an offer come in. We had a couple offers come in. And uh, today we closed. Today we went down and closed. It is, we will leave here Thursday morning. And it will be four weeks and one day to the day that I called my friend and said, we're done. We're leaving. So that's the reason why we're going. We're going back home to where it's really cold. And I'm not a big fan of snow. I mean, I like, I like snow snowshoeing. I like snow uh, cross-country skiing. I don't like downhill. It's too cold. I don't know if I'd like snowmobiling. I've done it a couple of times, but it was cold. I, I don't want to be cold. But, so we are moving two horses. They already left. They left this morning. Three dogs, three cats, two guinea pigs, a lizard, four chickens, and a turkey. And I think that's everybody. Oh, and our 19-year-old, because she doesn't have a job here, so she has to go with us. So we're going to be documenting through videos our trip.
our dogs, our hotels, uh, the craziness is going to come from moving 2,000 miles with, and our, our middle daughter is going to be driving one of the cars back and uh, she'll have her three-year-old and her five-year-old in the car with her. So it's definitely going to be an adventure. And then of course, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to live and then we're going to start gardening. So I am a Pierce County Master Gardener through Washington State University. So I live on 1.5 acres. I have done a whole bunch of permaculture. I've got cherry trees and mulberry trees and asparagus patch and raspberry patches. I've got all sorts of fruit trees, most of which I can grow back there in Michigan, just a different variety. Um, so I'm going to have all winter to plan what I'm going to be busy planting in the spring. So if you want to watch somebody fleeing the West Coast craziness, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and watch. Thanks.